Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Suzanne and this is the start of a new series where I or a friend will open up a new account on different investment platforms. We'll basically just do a little walkthrough of the accounts, show you how to buy your first stock on these platforms, how to sell a stock, and we'll take a look also at any other important features or cool functions that these accounts have. So today we're going to be taking a look at TD Ameritrade's platform. We are not going to be looking at Thinkorswim today, which is what I have on the screens behind me. We will save that for another video, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss that. I'll show you after you have your account open how you can actually fund your account, how you can buy your first stock. We'll take a look at TD Ameritrade's DRIP program, which is super easy to enroll in. It's their dividend reinvestment program. And then we will take a look at how you would actually go about trying to sell a stock on the platform. So I will go ahead and share my screen with you and just a heads up if anything looks a little bit off It's because I have covered things or changed names and numbers and things like that Okay, so once your account is set up you will see this main screen and at the top here This is where you can see all of the TD Ameritrade accounts that you have now We actually have to fund this account so that we can buy something so we're going to go to my account deposit and from here, we will see a list of different options. So ACH transfers, wire transfers, et cetera. Um, for this, I'm going to do just an ACH transfer, which is a, a free transfer from your bank. So we're gonna click on that. And since we don't have any accounts um, linked to this TD Ameritrade account, we need to do that. So under the From Bank Connection, we are going to select Create a New Bank Account. And here you'll just enter your bank information. If it's checking savings, you'll need your routing number and account number and all of that good stuff, all of the standard stuff that you need to transfer money in or out of a bank account. And then we will press continue. Okay, so on the second page, we will see bank name, bank city, just more bank information that you need to enter. And then you can go ahead and press continue. Now on the third page, you're going to see all of the information that you just entered. And this will be your chance to change any of that information if it is wrong. And you want to make sure that all the information that you entered was correct. Otherwise you won't be able to get your money in there. And then you'll know that you did it correctly because it will take you back to the deposits and transfers page where you will see the bank that you just added. So now we're going to go back to the deposit tab, transfer from bank. And now the bank should show up underneath the little drop down menu. And I've covered it up, but it will be right there. So we will select that enter the amount that we want. So I'm just going to do $100 for this example. And then you have the opportunity to choose the frequency. So I'm just going to do one time, but you have a bunch of different options. So if you want to take recurring payments out of your bank account and like invest a certain amount every month or every week, you have the option to do that. And then transaction date, you can schedule it if you want. I'm just going to do the day that it currently is. And then we will press continue. And then you'll have another screen where you can just review the information that you just entered. So make sure that everything is correct, that your, that especially that the amount is correct. And then you can press continue. And it should take you back to the deposit and transfers page. And at the top, you'll see a little yellow bar right there that says we received your request, or it'll tell you if you did it wrong, it'll be up there. So you can see under the cash available that we don't have anything yet because it has not yet hit our investing account, but we will see it under the pending transactions tab. Now I did initiate this at night, so I'll have to wait until the next day before the money will actually be in our account. And through the magic of editing, it is now the next day and you can see that the money has hit our account. Our account value is $100, which is what we deposited. So we're gonna go ahead and search for a stock with a ticker symbol. So like for Tesla, that is T-S-L-A, which I just typed in. Um, so the ticker symbol is just the letters that represent the stock on the stock market. So we're not going to buy Tesla since I only put $100 in here, but we can buy Coca-Cola, which is only $54, yeah. So we will go ahead and buy one share of Coca-Cola. So to do this, all you have to do is press the green buy button at the top. And from the bottom, this little tab will pop up. And this is where you can select your order type. You can put in the quantity that you want. So we are just buying and we are only going to buy one share, but you can see you have the different options of buy, sell. So we're going to enter one share and then for order type, 
I'm just doing a market order, which basically just means buy it right now at whatever price it's at. Um, I will make another video that goes over the different order types. Like you can see there's stop losses, there's a limit order, but for now we're just going with market order. And then time in force, I'm just choosing day so that it orders it right now. We'll press review order and it'll give you a chance to review your order. And all we have to do once we make sure that information is correct is press the green place order button. And that is it. You have purchased one share of Coca-Cola. It really is not that complicated. And you can see right here, it says filled, which means that it went through successfully. We have bought one share. So now we're going to go back to the main page. So we're going to go to my account and then back to the account overview. And as you can see, we have clearly bought something because the value of our account is no longer $100 flat. It is now $99.99. And that will change every minute or so whenever the price of the stock is updated. So after you've had your account for a little while, the total value of your account will be visible on this graph down here. Since we just did this today, there isn't anything to look at, but you can also change the time frame that you're looking at. So if you just want to see how your portfolio has done over the last month or over the entire year, or since you opened your account, you can select any of those options and view that. But again, since we did this today, there isn't anything to look at. So now we're going to go to my account positions. And from this page, this is where we can see a list of all the stocks and ETFs that we own. Currently, we only have that one share of Coca-Cola in this account, but you can see up here where it says $45, that's how much cash we have left. So that is what we did not spend on Coca-Cola. So that is what we have left to trade with. And you can see over here, we have like margin balance, maintenance requirements, non-marginable funds, all that good stuff. So if that is applicable to you, you can see all of that from here. So since Coca-Cola is a dividend paying stock, I will show you how you can go ahead and enroll in TD Ameritrade's drip program. So like I said, Coca-Cola is a dividend paying stock and you can see their dividend yield right here, which basically just means that for the profit that Coca-Cola makes, you will earn a tiny little bit of money every year. So to sign up for the dividend reinvestment program, which is where that tiny 2.93% would be reinvested back into Coca-Cola after you earn it, um, you can do this automatically. So we'll go to my account, dividend reinvestment and click on stocks and ETF dividends. So we want to change this so that that 2.93% that we earn is automatically reinvested back into Coca-Cola. So we're going to go ahead and select this edit enrollments button. And after we do that, we have the option of selecting each stock individually or automatically enrolling in all of our current ones. So we're going to click all of them, press save. And then at the top, you get the nice yellow bar that tells you you did it right, hooray. And you should see a little green check next to all of the stocks that you successfully enrolled in the drip program. So something to note with the dividends that you do earn, unless they are in a non-taxable account like a Roth IRA, you do have to report dividends that you earn on your income taxes, even if they are enrolled in the DRIP program. So just be aware of that. Even if you do reinvest them, you do still have to pay taxes on those. So now we're going to look at how you would go about selling a stock. So we're going to go back to the Coca-Cola page and I'm not actually going to sell this position since we just bought it. But if you wanted to sell, what you would do is hit the red sell button and at the bottom, the same thing is going to pop up except this time under action, it will say sell. And again, you can change it to whatever you're doing. And again, we have the options of different order types and, um, so for this, since we only have one share of this stock under quantity, we would go ahead and just put one if we wanted to sell our one and only share of Coca-Cola. And then after you do that, you would click review order and it will show you basically the same thing as when you buy and you click submit and that is all you do you've sold your stock, hooray. Something else that you need to be aware of if you are new to investing is the PDT rule. And I will put that up on the screen, Google it, know it, ingrain it in your brain, because if you break the PDT rule, your account can be suspended or disabled or restricted. If you have any other questions or if there's anything else that you'd like for me to cover, be sure to leave that in the comments down below.
below. Remember to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future videos and let me know which platform you'd like to see me walk through next. And I will see you guys next time.